G'day Slinkies, this is Shadeen Munro from Slink in Second Life and uh, I apologize if you can hear a moaning sound in the background, it's actually my 3D printer. Um, hopefully it's not too loud, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the lattice modifier to resize this little t-shirt which I'm releasing for the October Shop and Hop event um, for the four different upper uh, bodies for the Slink physique. So we have the original, the petite original, the hourglass and the petite hourglass. Starting off with the original fit, the way I work is I create for the original body first in its entirety. So it's textured, it's UV unwrapped, it has all of the um, insides and everything and it's completely weight painted and fitted to the original body. I find it easier to work up from original than down from hourglass so that is the way I will be doing that in this tutorial. So we pop that into pose mode, just check that it's all looking good here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is press Shift D to duplicate that original t-shirt. And then we will rename this to a ridge petite so that we can keep track of what we're doing. Turn off the uh, original fit shirt, turn off the original body and, and um, um, go to the uh, petite. So we've got physique, original petite, visible, and the original petite graphic tee visible. What we need to do here is uh, press Shift A and select Lattice. And we've created a new Lattice modifier. Over here, underneath your um, object tabs, you'll find your Lattice properties here. And I set these to around five. UV and W to around five divisions and then in object mode I scale the lattice modifier down move it up to fit around the um, clothing you want to actually fit and fit it closely to the to the mesh so we scale it in the Y direction we want it to be fairly close to the mesh we're modifying scale it slightly in the X direction scale it in the Z direction it doesn't have to completely cover the parts you're not modifying, but it should cover the parts you are modifying. Once we've done that, we go to back to the shirt and select it and then go into modifiers, add modifier, lattice, and then select the lattice in, in the object. And now you can go to the lattice modifier, press tab to um, edit it and select. And I usually do this through side view with the box selection so you're selecting all the way through the lattice modifier and then we just drag it back select these two rows drag them back select these ones and just drag them down a little bit and it's easier to do in a wireframe so you can actually see the mesh underneath grab this one and just drag it out so that you can actually check in and out of wireframe that you're not clipping um, and then this is too wide here, so I want to narrow this down a bit. So back into side view, box select these. And you can do this in front view, scale it on the X axis until you start to clip and then bring it back. You can press shift for a more refined, slower movement. All right, so once we've got a shape we like, we can go back into um, object mode and we can actually just delete that lattice modifier. I beg your pardon. Before we delete the lattice modifier, we have to apply it. So go to the shirt, find the lattice modifier and hit apply. Now we can delete the lattice modifier and the shirt keeps the shape. Now with Avastar, whenever you change the shape of something, you have to also um, refresh the weighting. So if you go to the Avastar tab here, scroll down until you find the skinning panel, you'll see a little red um, refresh arrow here. Click that. And once it's done the job, you'll uh, not have any problems with your mesh exploding when you change the sliders. So in order to um, adjust the weights on this shirt for the petite, the petite um, is almost identical to the rest of the uh, original body except the pec sliders are much reduced so I 
delete them from the stack here. I find left peck underneath the uh, object data. Left peck, delete, right peck, and delete. And then I go into um, a weight paint mode on this item. Select that um, left peck. And what I do is I change the breast slider up to its maximum setting so that the breasts are clipping out of the shirt and I can easily see what I'm doing here. And then I work in um, a textured solid mode with the wireframe on so I can see through and make sure that I'm only getting the front of my mesh here. So we select the pec bone and you'll see that the mesh goes pink because we currently have no influence. If we go to the weight paint tools and select the add brush on a really, really low strength setting and start clicking here, you can see the, the mesh turns blue because we now have an influence from that bone. Paint a little and press Alt Q. Paint a little bit, press Alt Q. Between every couple of clicks, press Alt Q and make sure you're not overdoing your weight painting here. So we just need a tiny, tiny little amount. And then once I've done that part, just make sure it's nice and smooth. I go into um, vertex select mode, which is a V on your keyboard. And then I select smooth and make sure it's set to subset active group. Leave everything here as its default and then press Alt Q. And then I'll just smooth the weights out so you get a nice smooth transition. And then I just tap back in there if there's any clipping. We go back out of vertex select mode select the other pec bone and now we'll work on this side so we tap it in there we see the mesh turns blue because it's now got weight influence we just tap in very lightly with that add brush until we can't see any more clipping from that body and there's just a little bit on the chest here and then we go to vertex select, find the smooth button, press Alt Q, and then just correct that last little bit there. Keep in mind that the body mesh is representative of the tattoo layer and any clipping you can see here, if it's really minor like that, you won't see it at all in Second Life. And also this um, shirt comes with an alpha layer so that that section will be completely hidden. So we go back into object mode. We check that it looks good. There's nothing else that needs to change for the petite. Everything else stays exactly the same. And now we can set our Avastar breast size back to its default setting. And now the original petite is finished. So we hide it and now we'll do the hourglass size. So we re-enable the original uh, shirt Shift D to duplicate it. Rename it to HG for hourglass or hourglass if you wish. Hide the original shirt and then we will add another lattice modifier. So Shift A, lattice, move it up and scale it down. Go over to the lattice properties and make it 5, 5, and five on the UVW coordinates. Make sure that it encompasses the entire area that you want to modify. That's looking pretty good. Go back to the shirt, add a new modifier, lattice, and then select the lattice object. And now we can edit this and make it fit the hourglass body. So the way I usually do this is these two are positioned right uh, here at the breast and the hourglass breast is slightly rotated. So I will rotate this and move it out and up. And we can go into the um, wireframe so that we can see this a little better. Move this out. Move this one out a little bit. So we're basically just selecting the entire 
row through the mesh on its uh, side view and moving, moving them individually. Now we're going to texture solid, see if we've got any clipping and we do. So I'll just pop back into side view there. Um, this is the one that has the clipping. So we grab them all the way through scale on the X axis and just drag it out until you can't see that clipping anymore. Scale X, and just drag it out. Don't forget to hold down shift if you want to make your movements more subtle and easier to control. All right, we have a resized hourglass shirt. I'm going to apply the lattice modifier and delete the lattice modifier. And then I'm going to adjust the weighting. Hourglass is very close to original in terms of weighting. There's just a slight bit of tweakage to happen on the uh, uh, breast sliders. So the first thing we do is refresh the rig, refresh the bind there. When that's finished, we can go up and adjust the breast size slider. And you can see where it's clipping out, where you need to adjust the weighting here. Put it into weight paint mode, and we might um, just take off the texture and add the wireframe. And I'm going to try and work through so that I'm not affecting any of this area at the back. So you can angle your mesh in such a way that you can see down through the bottom of the shirt. So you know you're only affecting this or you can turn this on. Um, the downside with turning on limit selection is if you have added the inside of your shirt already, you won't affect it with your weight painting when you, when you turn limit selection on. So I'll leave it off in this instance and I'll select the uh, chest bone. And what I'm going to do is go to the subtract tool and just subtract a little bit of the weight from the chest bone off here. Try and mirror it to the other side. And just to rotate that around so that I can see down through it. Up through the neck. Mirror to the other side again. We're just removing a little bit of the influence from the chest bones here. And then I'll go through and add influence to the pec bones, which is a lot easier to do from this side. And you can turn up the strength slider a little bit. I usually have my strength slider really, really low because I find it easier to control the weighting that's happening if the strength slider is low. Don't forget, tap, tap, tap a couple of times and then hit Control, uh, Alt Q, sorry, to refresh the slider influence. And then we select this bone here and just remove a little of the extra weight from that chest bone. Don't forget also, this will have an alpha, an alpha layer, so you won't see this at maximum breast slider settings. None of this clipping will be visible. Now we go back down to uh, this breast size and um, back into object mode. And that's the hourglass size done. So we hit hide to hide it. The hourglass and the uh, sorry, the hourglass petite and the original petite are extremely similar. Again, weighting is similar, size is similar. So I'll grab the original petite shirt that we did just before. Shift D to duplicate it. Call it uh, HG petite. And hide the original petite, and then all I really need to do here is um, change a couple of these these vertices. So I'm just going to select those ones and scale them on the x-axis ever so slightly. 
And then these ones, just where you can see that little bit of clipping and move them out away from the body a little. You don't even need to use the lattice modifier because we already did it with the um, original size. And don't forget, you need to refresh your bind once you've changed the mesh. And then we can go and adjust the breast size slider and then adjust any clipping that you can see here. So we go into weight paint, we select the pec bone and we just add a little um, to the parts that are clipping on either side. Add the, uh, select the other pec bone, add, add, control Q after every click. And then we go back to object mode and we're done. Back, set your breast slider back to its default setting uh, before you export any meshes. And these four t-shirt meshes are now done and ready for export and ready for fitting in Second Life. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, message me in world at Shadian Munro or my assistant uh, at Slink Resident, and we will help you as much as we can. Thank you.